Seeing John this morning reminded me of how much we already miss Brother Jerry Tallman. Um, to me, they are a pair, a pair of evangelists. They both um, always, anytime I'm around them, I think I could do much more to reach those around me. And I'm, I'm grateful for John and Susie Orr being here with us. I know a few people in the kingdom that have done more to assist congregations, and congregational leaders and, and Christians than John and Susie Orr. Um, they have touched so many. I'm a big fan of theirs and of the ministry of home mission and promote their efforts wherever I go. Sunset and Home Mission work together trying to create a desire and a need for evangelism and church planting and those things around our brotherhood, and they are valuable partners of ours here. They travel the country helping congregations to become evangelistic, to reach out to their community, and then to train new Christians to remain faithful and become evangelists themselves. John and Susie did not go to school at sunset, but they have sent us so many students uh, from their children, from their adopted children, from friends of their children, um, an amazing thing, big family that loves evangelism and Bible, and we've been blessed by their children. John has a special ministry he'd like to share with us this morning, something new and exciting, um, more than anything, I just pray we drink in his spirit and that we leave reignited to change the world for Christ. John, come preach the word. Thank you, Brother Chris. I could say the same about you, your passion. Six seconds. What can you do in six seconds? The last Sunday in December, my wife and I were in attendance at West Freeway Church of Christ. In six seconds, three people were shot and killed. Life-changing experience when you were persecuted for Christ. About a month or so earlier, that congregation had decided from a plea that we made, had decided to take on the Home Mission School of Evangelism. They hired uh, Brother Jack Cummings, Dr. Jack Cummings, who is with us. Jack, would you raise your hand, please? And I hope that you will talk to him afterwards or during the workshop. They had hired him full-time, and he's, he's working on curriculum and teachers. And we're working on, and I'll explain it in just a minute, but God wanted to know if that congregation was really serious about doing that. Because whenever you stick your neck out and you try to do something for the Lord, you will be attacked by Satan. Faith Village Church of Christ, the one who oversees the work at this time, has been attacked by Satan. They've been struggling with what's going on. Six seconds is what it takes for you to make a decision an emotional decision. Six seconds whether to reject it, to accept it, to control your anger, or to get angry. Six seconds you'll make, in six seconds, you'll make some of the most important decisions in your life. Whether to be excited about something or just to say, that's not for me. One of the things we, we've been to over two, not me, Jerry and I and other evangelists, and that's what Home Mission is, is an association of evangelists and churches working together to try to um, not only help save dying congregations, but to build up uh, even congregations that are 500 and more that are losing ground. And one of the things we found that's a big problem is that is that so many preachers have come out of school and have not learned to evangelize and are scared to death of it and uh, are almost intimidated when we come in and try to help teach them to evangelize. This con 
Sunset is probably the most evangelistic minded of all the schools that we work with. Uh, and we recommend uh, people from Sunset probably more than any other school. We, we're not, we don't know what goes on out in all of them, but we're, we're, we're finding out. And a lot of their graduates say they didn't teach me to do any of this. Um, we're going those that are going to pass out those sheets, if you'd pass them out right now. The idea of uh, of the home mission school of evangelism is to spend an extra year training. You say, why do I need to spend an extra year training in evangelism? They trained, I went to the Preston Road School of Preaching, and they had extensive training as much as they could. We went out on four campaigns a year. We had an evangelism class. It was one of the best instructors you could have. But it still took me a long time, many years after that, to really become more uh, in tune with evangelizing in the United States. It's different evangelizing in the United States and getting more difficult, but it's not impossible. As an outreach minister, I worked with the Faith Village Church of Christ before we started this, and you can actually bring about a, a, a soul or two a week if you work at it hard enough. And uh, people out there want to hear the gospel, and since they're, we're becoming more of a, a secular, godless nation, people are struggling and be, coming into more difficult times and so there's greater advantages to opportunities for evangelism if we know how to do it. We'll have three tracks in this school and Brother Jack Cummings is the one that's going to be over the whole school and right now they are working developing curriculum getting teachers and working with congregations in the Metroplex to support this, to be able to take on a student and at least help support him or her while they're there or their family. And so uh, they're going to be involved in that. We already have two churches that are willing to take on students. And the idea is that you go to class and learn uh, to evangelize. just going to be on evangelism. You learn how to teach the Bible, and you learn about things that you need here. But we will teach you how to literally ask the right questions, how to do the right thing, break down evangelism in ways you never thought about so that you can be successful. It'll be about five and a half months of training in the school, and then for six months you will go back to your congregation that is supporting you, and you will work in the field as an outreach minister for six months or longer if they want you to. By spending that extra year, you can develop your, if you want to call it a career as an evangelist, for the next 40 or 50 years. You can go out there and just be a person that only when people come to you, you can bring, you can teach them about Christ or you can be in a person that can go out here and bring about a person a week to Christ and for the rest of your life and be that effective. The difference between bringing 50 people to Christ in 50 years or bringing over 1,000 people to Christ in 50 years. That one year could make that difference. And we hope and pray that it will. So we're not going to reteach you what they're teaching you here. We're going to go farther and do that. Our goal to open is August 2021. And if you want more information or you're interested in something like that, fill out that application sheet and give it to myself or Jack on the way out, and we'll be happy to get back with you and give you more information. If you sign the sheet up, it doesn't mean you have to go. It just means that you're interested and learning more about it. There'll be three tracks to the evangelism school. One is, uh, and notice it's called Home Mission School of Evangelism. If you want to go out in foreign fields, you need to go an extra six months here 
on the mission track. But if you want to work in America, then you need to talk to us to get that extra training that you're going to need. Otherwise, uh, you may go to a mission field in the, Uni in the United States and you may not have much luck. You may or may not. It depends on what you've learned and picked up and practiced. But um, we can guarantee you if you'll go all the way through the school and then go all the way through the six months as an outreach minister, you will be successful by the hand of God who gives the increase. The first tract is, is people who graduate or have graduated or whatever from a school, and that'll be the one-year tract. That's what I've been talking about. The second tract is uh, for people in the Metroplex area. We'll have two locations, one in south of Dallas and the other one in uh, Fort Worth. And it'll be videoed like you video things here. And con we're hoping to set up at least one congregation in all 50 states that will be able to show these videos and train their own members and maybe congregations in the area how to do evangelism. Much like Russell DiGiorgio, uh, didn't he go here? No, he went to a different one, but some of you know Russell DiGiorgio in Media, Pennsylvania. He's had a school like this for the last six years, and 60 people have been brought to Christ as a result of it. He has non-Christians coming to his evangelism training school, and they either quit before it's ended, or they'll become a Christian. And he makes them go on a campaign before they graduate. It's a two-year course where they come twice a week. And we're going to use that pattern uh, in order for the second track. The third track is in 2022, we will have uh, probably in the fall a, a school of a, a one-week camp on evangelism, nothing but evangelism training and some training on expository preaching where you reconnect with that and uh, because expository preaching is evangelism uh, in the pulpit and it's also helps you in your personal study to be able to uh, dig out so much more in what you're doing and learning personally. Um, these are the things, this is something we're very excited about. Satan has tried to stop it. But the elders there in the congregation have doubled down since that tragic shooting, and they're ready to go. They, even, they want it even more. And other congregations and people are coming on board and saying, we've got to have this. And so we want to work hand in hand with Sunset and with all the schools of preaching and the colleges eventually. It's going to take a while to get this started. And uh, some of us may not be around to finish, you know, to see its uh, full succession. It took a long time to get this, this school started. And look at what good that it has done all these years that God has done through this school. There are sunset graduates all over the world. Praise God for what one church has decided to do. One church and all the other churches working uh, in association with it. And so we feel like one church, West Freeway Church of Christ, can do this. And one church, Faith Village, can continue to uh, help support and put out uh, evangelists for home mission. We have our revivists again that Chris is going to be our MC this year, the last full week of March. Speedy has worked with us some, and i got to talk to you about a church up in the northeast before we leave here. And... Uh, Susie and I went to 74 churches last year and, and worked with them in some way. So we're tired. <laughs> no, we aren't. By the grace of God, we're even more energized. And I pray that when, when you get into the mission field or you get into a congregation with a bunch of stick in the muds or whatever the problem is, that you'll be patient and you'll, you'll wait upon the Lord and let him have time to change the people and let him have time to change you. Just remember those, those six seconds, the next six seconds. You'll decide whether you want to talk to us more about this or you're going to say, 
I don't need any more prayer. Or in those six seconds, you'll say, I'm going to be a pulpit preacher, and that's all I'm going to do. Or in those next six seconds, you'll say, this guy's nuts. Well, already people have said that all over the United States. <laughs> so you can join in that chorus. Let's close with a word of prayer. Our Father and God, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you so much for this great school, Father, that you have set up, that you have started with people who are no longer here. Some are still around, and many have gone on to their reward. Precious Father, we ask you to be with uh, Tim and Truett, Chris, and all the teachers of this school, and all the students that are going through it, and the AIM program that's so excellent. Father, we ask you to be with them and continue to bless them that souls may be reached all over the world and the ideas that they've had that nobody would even dare to do, dream of, they've dreamed. They've dared to do it. May we dare, Father, to go beyond our scope of thinking and may we take the gospel not only to all the world but we need to take it to our own country because if we don't, we can't support the whole world. And you know that, and you know what we need, and you're the only one that can make this happen. In Jesus' name, amen.